Once again, lovely doors with the little rivets, these ancient rivets. Hi guys, lovely day today. I'm out with Al. Hello. Exploring some history. We're at a church. What church are we at, Al? This is St. Michael and Angels at Witham. And it has some tombs of the Sackville family. Sackville, yes. Very prominent family in the Sussex region, for hundreds of years. So have a little look around. Don't know much about the church, so that's so why we're up on a bit of a hill. That's why I look so much smaller than Al in this shot. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll back up a bit. Yeah, that's right. So uh, yeah, let's go, let's have a look. There's been a church here since 1292. Beautiful old tower, out in the middle of nowhere, more almost. We've got Hartfield just down the road, which we did uh, earlier on. Yeah, it's lovely. Lovely oak doors. The church was struck by lightning in 1663 and then rebuilt in the 1700s. We are quite high up, so I'm not actually quite surprised it did get struck by lightning, actually. And to add to my obsession with old medieval doors, that's old. That's really old. Little rivets. I mean, you push the door like that, it looks like it's going to fall apart. Wow. <laughs> The old church. It's lovely brick wall going all the way around the perimeter. Yeah, look at this. Al just pointed this out. Some of old gravestones being used to cover up holes in the ground which um, animals might be coming out of. 1700s. Yep. It's a lovely setting here. Sit down. I mean, look at that view over the back. Lovely East Sussex. Seventeen ninety. Got some very old graves here. Uh, Seventeen, I think, seventeen thirty-three, seventeen ninety. Obviously, a lot of uh, lichens on the gravestones. It's hard to see. Can't make these no, I can't make them out. We're going back to the 1700s. 1879, 1891, yeah. 1879, yeah. Yeah, unusual. unusual. I'm sure that's quartz, eh? Could be quartz. I don't know what. what Does anyone know? We're looking at quartz, we think is in one of the stones. If anyone knows if quartz is used for engraving people's names on tombstones, please let us know. It's such a shame that you can't see them though, isn't no, it? No, I know. This is where brass rubbing, remember brass rubbing you used to do in churches? Yeah, you yeah. probably get a lot more information. And I'm sure there's parish records yeah. of everyone in the graveyard, but it's not always easily but accessible. Grave, they must have been moved and things like that as well, though. Yeah. Some of these stuff. Yeah, probably have, yeah. It's fallen over and... That's gravestone amongst the overgrowth. Look down to this gateway here. Some of these fantastic graves up. And you come out into a meadow, which is rather lovely. Yeah, as I look out, there's apparently cattle in this field, so I'm not going in. Don't do cattle. What a glorious spot. Chirping over there. I don't know what birds they are, so I don't know my birds. Okay. 
That's nice. Seventeen ninety five, yeah. Eighteen twenty five. Yeah, it's the stuff that I buy. Oh yeah. And then the church. First mint was in yeah, twelve ninety one. It, before Elizabeth I, the patronage of the church was granted to Thomas Sackville, first Duke of Dorset. Okay, so Sackville found a lot of um, uh, connections with Michelin Priory and places like that. Mm. You can get your head around that. I mean, we go to prehistoric sites like Avebury quite a lot, you know, which is five to seven thousand years old. If you go to the Mesolithic era, to the Neolithic era, but even then, even with churches going back seven hundred years, it's still impressive. Mm. Seven hundred years. Of continuous worship. I'm not quite sure what's on what this is on. Is this? Oh, it's, yeah. yeah but, uh, I thought it was a painting out there. Oh yeah. This was. I think there was. There were some pictures that were here that were sold in auction. Right. That I read on online, and they went to America for the upkeep of the church. They used the money for the upkeep of the church, but there is paintings inside. On the walls and things of like the last supper and things like that i think so that could be original wall painting that could be original because yeah. what uh, down my way uh, near children church one of the big wall, medieval wall paintings one mm. of the most famous in the country it's absolutely stunning that's really that's original that's fantastic it's interesting when you see graffiti you think graffiti on walls but if it's old graffiti does that then still contribute to the history of the place yeah which it does. it does yeah, yeah. It's not like they've done it with a sort of uh, marker pen. They've sort of chipped it in. Yeah, yeah. Once again, lovely doors with the little rivets. These ancient rivets. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Before we leave this area, we're going to walk down the road a little bit and there's a World War II pillbox up on the downs. Uh, so we're going to quickly see if we can uh, pop up and see it. Yeah, this is... Um the lake. Um, there, I've read on online there's a story from someone who lived in Hartfield Village that a V2 came down here next, right. to, next to the lake. So one of the last V2s. Wasn't the last, right. but it was one. Yeah. Of there should be a crater somewhere. Okay, a little bit of road walking. We're going to be trying to be a bit careful so we don't get run over. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Uh -huh. So it's covering this bit of road. So we've got one up there covering the bridge. Uh huh. We've got one here. Oh, there's one here, right, right by the road. Yeah. You can see that. Ah. We covered the road. Yeah, this one's a bit waterlogged. Got the river just the other side. But we're going to walk up to the other one, the main one up there, which is uh, pretty well preserved. Let's go. Oh. Lovely day to be out in the countryside, of course. Even with the, the road making lots of noise. Here is a lovely World War II pillbox. Probably had a gun in placement at the top. So this one here, the main one, you've got the one down the bottom by the road, probably one across the road as well. Yeah, lovely. Absolutely love pillboxes. Built yeah. between 1940 and 1941. I think it's tight. Oh, you can get in there. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah, just dry mud. Whoa. What a pillbox. Yeah, there's different types, wasn't there? This probably looks like an average size one. Um, type 48, I think it is. Type 40. The Doctor's TARDIS is a type 40. No, type 48, I think. Okay. So the thing about pillboxes, they've run up on the North Downs Way uh, between um, Ramor Common and Newlands Corner, which has been sort of preserved a little bit. There's a little notice plaque on it about what it was about, but most of them are just left. You know, because not really much. I mean, they're just empty husks, really, aren't they? This is in good nick. Yeah, it's in very good nick. Probably no one really comes up here, do they? No. This is in very good nick, actually. 
You know, it's not a huge amount of rubbish. It's some. No. That's amazing that that wood is still there. Mm. Yeah. I mean, these things were built for the defence of southern England. They played mm. such an important role in the Second World War. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's perfect, isn't it? Yeah. So there you go, a little trip around Rhythm, the church, and the pillbox, which is really interesting, seeing how well preserved the pillbox was. Mm. So if you like the video, please like, subscribe, please hit the comment if you know any more about this area. So we're keen to discover more, and we'll see you next time. Take care.